Greetings and salutations, everyone out there on the internet, and welcome back to perhaps another exciting episode of Let's Get On With It, Kudos 2. Last time I, of course, introduced the game and the wonderful problems we will encounter over the course of playing this game, such as a possessed mouse pointer and, well, a little bit of latency. That's not a problem for me, though. I've been experiencing latency my entire life. And if you folks have a problem with that, then you should buy me a new computer. Ha <laughs> ha. DJ Grimgrams has spoken. All right. Young Danzig. <laughs> I think last time we left off a little bit of a cliffhanger. Uh, I found it funny that... I think it stopped raining, too. Wasn't it raining? It was raining. Now it's no longer raining. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, that's interesting. In that case, I have no problem inviting these guys out to play uh, soccer instead. I'm going to invite these two to play soccer. I got like a shit ton of suggestions from you folks about uh, what games, you know, what I should do with my character as opposed to whether or not I should actually play the game. So I took it to mean that the times that you guys suggested those things, that meant that uh, you wanted me to keep playing some more. But we're not going to go too far into this whole democratic process. I'm the dictator. I'm the leader here. And I'll decide what the fuck I do. So we're going to head to Necropolis Park. The state of the pitch was pretty terrible, and people's dogs kept chasing the ball at vital moments. Frustrating, but at least I won the game, everybody. And those had positive re effects on my relationships with these people. Exciting. Okay, so we're going to move on, right? Woohoo! And now we have one more activity to do this evening. Preferably something which does not cost money. Something free. Perhaps we shall engage in some fool's ball. Is the fool's ball there? Shit, the fool's ball costs money, everybody. Fuck. I'm just a poor boy. I need no sympathy. Okay, I guess we're going to go to play football. Let's go. You too. Let's go play sports. I said, let's go play sports. Oh shit, we need more people. I forgot. Well, you see, those those black portraits means required people. Like, you must construct additional people. Yeah, something like that. So I guess we're going to have to go to play expensive tennis. But it'll keep these folks happy with me. And that's what matters, right? Happy friends. Yes. I won the game too. Woohoo! And confidence boost. My IQ continues to go up. Good times for everybody. I am happy. Oh shit! Well, it's no longer raining in Acropolis, everybody. It is snowing. I'm gonna walk to work though in the snow. I'm a beast. It's a cold, icy morning when I walk to work today, and I arrive at the restaurant feeling sociable and relaxed. That's me. I had a good day at work today, with everything seeming to go pretty well. Hooray! I got monies! Woot! Okay, so... Can we have a snowball fight now? That would be cool. We could have one of those. Yes, yes, all these expensive things. I won't be doing for a very long time. If ever. I could go skiing, oh my god! Let's have a snowball fight. Woo! Participate with my friends! I said participate! Fantastic fun was had by all. Why, this is constantly overlooked as a potential Olympic sport we had no one for no. Sweet! My happiness is off the fucking charts, folks. It is off the chain. I'm earning some kudos there. I'm fucking badass. Oh? Okay. It's still snowing, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> so we've gone from rain. The rain magically vanished between the saves, but it has been replaced now by... <laughs> On a cold winter morning, in the time before the light... I was in the Dragon Force before they start on Guitar Hero 3. It's true. <laughs> I just wanted to come across as an internet hipster. Oh my god! My relations with them are off the charts, LOLs, OLs, OLs, LOLs. Um, I think I want to, what is, like, my energy level? I think my energy level is pretty low. Oh, yeah. 
I need to have a bath. Holy shit! I'm charged! I'm supercharged and I have no muscles. <laughs> is it snowing again? <laughs> it is! Now, do know that, you know, stuff like this is taking off, like, additional energy, because it's tough, you know, trudging along through the snow there. Fifteen miles through the rain and the snow. <laughs> but at least I'm getting that paper. And I got an invite here from Nancy Lucas. Hey, Grimoth, is it snowing where you are, too? We are heading out to a great French restaurant tonight. Would you like to come with us? It's my birthday celebration. Oh, shit. It's her birthday. <laughs> well, I can't skip that. Damn. I know, I was like, ah, $20. Fuck. Fuck, no. It's her birthday, folks. She'll really be upset. And I like her as a friend. So let's go out. We'll meet some new people. All right. We have a lovely menu here, and for some reason... These sizes appear to go super amazing, amazingly god awesome pro. Okay, so we have various items on the menu, all with their varying prices. And each item provides different benefits. For example, drinking this mineral water will give me plus 10 health. Some will provide alcohol, others will provide weight. Now, I like the idea of, you know, <laughs> mineral water here three dollars. Jesus, I hope I get free refills. And grilled ribeye steak actually sounds pretty good. Especially with french fries there. There's no need for that. Thinly grilled steak served with hand-cut potatoes and herb butter. You have seared loin of venison with parsnips, artichokes, grapes, and bacon caramel? What? Bacon caramel? Holy Jesus! <laughs> I hope like that's some sort of special dressing that does not sound as... Oh, I have no idea why I did that. I guess because I had that mouse over something for long enough. Whatever. So there we go. That's how they're supposed to appear, folks. So we're just going to have that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine for you guys, right? That'll be good. We'll have that. I'll increase my happiness, my health. I'll gain some weight. So what? So fucking what? That is one disadvantage of that. I'll gain a lot of weight, put on the pounds, fuck it! Well, actually, I might want to choose the cheapest item. It costs $16. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Let's be a cheapskate, everybody! Fuck happiness! Salade Maison. Ugh. That actually doesn't sound... Organic sunburst trout. <laughs> fuck it, we're going with a steak. Formidable! Oh! Formidable! As they say in Paris, when serves such excellent food, it's pretty pr impressive to take bits of frogs and snails and make them taste this good. Sweet. By the way, apparently it's nearly impossible to get a table at the vineyard. The vineyard. <laughs> it's very trendy, but unless you're wealthy, famous, or a food critic, it's a struggle to get in. I gained some weight, folks, putting on the pounds. But apparently she has some cool friends here. Well... She's a pessimist, but she improved my culture there a bit. How about you? Jennifer Montgomery is an extrovert and an optimist. That's cool. So, uh, you get some of these, these tips here. Sometimes whenever you go out, people, they say things like, The rock band is pretty dire. I think that's bad. Unless that's... Whoa! Whoa! Hi there, Grimoth. I've enjoyed spending time with you and was wondering if you would like to go out on a date sometime. No. <laughs> this can happen if you spend a lot of time with members of the opposite sex, or same sex if you enable that in the options. Um, girlfriends or boyfriends can uh, improve your relations, make you feel better about your life, decrease your loneliness, but they do require maintenance, and they will be so jelly if they don't go out on events. Uh, with you, like if you invite, especially like events alone with members of the opposite opposite sex, like why they always get so jelly? I don't, I don't know. In this case, I think it's too early for me to enter one of these things. Now, each person you meet will have like a different level of attractiveness to you, which is like how easy it is for um, them to approve of you, like romantically. 
But if you reject this, it completely kills that slider. So I don't remember exactly what her slider was at before, but no, 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 no. Let's let's slow down here. Just because we had a good time on your birthday, I'm not prepared for this kind of commitment here. I am a calm, clueless waiter. You're goddamn right. <laughs> I don't know, though. I suppose I could commit already. I gotta sow my wild oats, though, right? Got <laughs> it would be like, from a power gaming stance, this would be pretty sweet to have, though. Somebody to improve my stats right here at the beginning of the game. Ah... Nancy. I don't know. I like you as a friend. I think I'm going to choose that for irony purposes. How many times does the guy get to say that to the girl compared to the girl getting to say that to the guy? So yeah. Attractiveness. No possessed mouse! <laughs> well, at least she's great fun, but uh, just not interested that way, lady. So, uh, there we go. Vanessa Phillips, who we're probably going to lose as a friend shortly. And I got to meet some of her friends. So I could possibly invite these folks on events, although since they're not really my friends, they could turn me down actually snub me. Especially the ones who are arrogant, like cultured or whatnot. Like, sorry, I don't want to hang out with people so under-sophisticated. Assaulting me like that. Well, I am clueless, folks. Who would have known? Oh my god! It started raining and snowing! Holy shit! Woohoo! Improving my fitness and slowly decreasing my weights! LOL. I'm sociable and relaxed. Today wasn't a bad day. The customers were pretty friendly and had a good time joking with some of the other waiting staff, which put me in a good mood. Sweet! I'm getting that paper! Uh oh. I've been invited to something by Leo Richards. Oh man, You're inviting me to a game of chess? Mmm, well played. Well played, sir. But I'm going to reject you. I do not want to be your friend. I'm judging you, and you are dishonest and dull. That is not the company I wish to keep. How's my energy level? It's actually pretty shoddy. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to take another bath. Holy shit! So that I can uh, learn most optimally in Kung Fu tomorrow. Having a bath costs two dollars, folks. Keep that in mind. Yay! Oh God damn it! It's raining. <laughs> Going to walk to work. Yep, I'll oh, we'll still walk to work. It was raining as I went to the restaurant this morning, but thankfully I had an umbrella. So thankfully, I already said thankfully. Fuck it. Woohoo! Having some good days here, folks. Oh, God. Nancy Lucas. Yo, Grimmiff, today is another miserable, rainy day by the looks of it. We are going to have a game of football at the Sports Center. What? I don't. Sports Center, it's a trap. It is raining. No. I'm going to Kung Fu. God damn it. Hurrah! I know Kung Fu. Better appreciate our differences, lady. Oh, God damn it! she feels snubbed. She's like, no, you snubbed me. I hate you forever. That's not cool. Woot. It's the weekend. Hi, Agrimov. Today is another miserable rainy day by the looks of it. How about we grab a few beers at the local bar? I've had a really bad few days, and I'd appreciate the company. No. Unacceptable. Stephen Day. Hi, Grimmiff. Today is another miserable rainy day by the looks of it. How about coming bowling tonight? Okay. I'm really looking forward to seeing my friends. Okay. That's fine. We'll go bowling. And meet somebody new. I won the game. Yes! Ooh. Are you somebody who's also... Oh, sweet. That's great. All right. Get to improve my persuasion skill. You're a good person to hang out with. <laughs> I don't think we've met before. I'm Raymond. This is exactly what I like, and I had a good, very good time. I spend most of the evening discussing bowling with Steven. You definitely seemed in a happy mood. I hear there is a pretty cool pop band playing in Acropolis this week. <laughs> dot, dot. 
All right. Good times, good times. So how about we uh, have ourselves a lovely uh, time here just to make sure she no longer feels snubbed. Because, you know, I rejected her romantically. But I still want her to know that I appreciate her as a person. And, you know, it's really not something that she enjoys. And I lost the game. Damn it, my confidence is shit. Well, oh well. Uh, oh! <coughs> I've given up trying to stay friends with you, Grimoth. It's more trouble than it's worth. Now, unfortunately, whenever you lose friends in this game, um, <coughs> your stats take a fucking nosedive. Ouch. It's terrible, folks, but what can you do? Some folks are just bad company. Unfortunately, having my confidence that low really is a problem. It really is. It really hurts me, and it's only going to fucking dip down even more. I mean, how am I supposed to get new jobs if I don't have confidence? I'm going to have to, like, read books, folks. It's going to suck. Okay, so let's spend some time cleaning the house. And I actually have a decent amount of energy here, so... I don't feel compelled to take a bath immediately. I also don't feel compelled to go jogging. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we shall... Uh, play chess with my other friend? Sure. Hey, other friend. Wanna play chess with me? Oh, damn. It wasn't something I enjoyed and didn't have a good time. I suppose I'm grateful for the invite. Damn. One of those irritating games where it gets to the last four or five pieces each. And you bounce around the board constantly with nobody getting an advantage. Frustrating. Damn it. Well, at least that increased my stats to an extent, but that did not improve my relationship with him at all. Yes, I'm improving my reasoning skills, everybody. I'm a, I'm a relaxed, excitable waiter with shitty confidence, and it's raining again. Fuck. Well, maybe it's not. Yay, it stopped raining. New friend. I made a new friend at work, Gregory Reynolds, which is always good and makes the working day go much better. Aww. Am I going to have to drop him too? Here's Gregory Reynolds. He is honest and confident. Gregory is very honest and trustworthy. He never lies or breaks the law. He's also good at boosting your confidence. Sounds like the right guy to hang out with. Unfortunately... Whenever you meet new people, you don't know their interests so well. You actually have to, like, hang out with them to pick up their interests better. So what I'm going to do is just invite him to some group events here with some other folks, and hopefully I can figure out his interests. Not you. No. You, are, you have been snubbed. Now, the more people you have along at events, the uh, less of an impact each one of them makes. Like, I'll gain less optimism and... Less, fewer IQ points and shit like that. But, you know, great way to manage people's skills, right? So, uh, it really wasn't something I enjoy, and I didn't really enjoy it tonight. Thanks for the invite, I guess. I lost the game, but I still gained some confidence. Woot woot. It's good to learn that shit, though. Congratulations, you just managed to unlock a new activity. Yes! I can now go to church. I could never go to church before this moment. Now, if my window could stop being possessed... Come on. Come on. You can do it. Let's try this again. I have faith in you. I'm going to click here. And I have learned some of his likes, which include beer, alcohol, and video games. That sounds like a lot of you out there. <laughs> All right. Let's go trudge ourselves to work again. At least we're still having good days, despite my confidence. I guess that's why I'm a waiter. Some people do lack confidence in themselves, and it's a sad time. Okay, so we know that our friend here doesn't exactly like sports, but those are the cheapest events for me to go to, which is why I'm compelled to keep dragging him there. I could, you know, there are ways to, like, cheese the system in this game. You could, like, save low, visit the casino, gamble a whole bunch of money, succeed in that, you know, just keep stocking up money. You could be like a waiter and just have like several thousand dollars just sitting there in the bank. But that's obscene. Can I not play, uh... No, I don't think I can play tennis today. Oh, well. 
We'll go bowling. I don't think everybody will want to go bowling, though. But some of you assholes will. I know it. I've scanned the auguries and witnessed the portents, and you fuckers are going bowling. I said you're going bowling! Okay. Maybe you're not going bowling. But you're going bowling. Hooray! Something I enjoy. Oh, damn. Ouch. Minus one kudos. But at least, you know, I won the game. It's not something that he enjoys that well, though. I actually harmed my relationship with him a bit, but on the bright side, I get to see more of his interest. I said... Oh, fuck it. <laughs> Woohoo! I had another good day, everybody! Woot woot! Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so, he's a cultured guy, he likes French food. That's interesting. Don't you like French food? Don't you like French... Okay, you like Mexican food. That still counts. That's close enough, right? <laughs> you like Chinese food and Mexican food. Okay. And you... Were you the guy who's not interested in food? Yeah, you're not interested in food. Fuck survival. Survival is for bitches. Okay. Check my graphs here. How is my confidence gone? <laughs> It's slowly on the rise. It's slowly on the rise. It's about the dip as soon as I lose him as a friend, but it's slowly on the rise. Slowly. It's getting there. I'm getting better. <laughs> uh, what do I feel like doing? Maybe some alone time. Maybe I feel like jogging today. I'm going to go jogging. Cur, 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 cur. The hours approach and the give it your best, and you've got to reach your prime. My energy sucks. Shit, it's snowing. Fuck. Promoted. So it seems like Snackville finally got around to giving me a promotion, which is great news. Does it really look like I earned that much money, folks? Mm. I don't think so. But it did raise my confidence, only for it to sink like a fucking brick later. That's okay. Stephen Day. Hey, I heard that you got promoted. Congratulations. We should celebrate at some point. You can tell me all about it. You're right. That day is not today, for I must take a bath in preparation for going to Kung Fu the next day. <laughs> That's important, folks. Kung Fu serious business. Everything, everything seemed to go just fine after present tax. Woohoo! I'm getting invited to something by Gregory Reynolds. Aw, oh, bro. Bro. Great nightclub? No, I'm going to have to reject you. Kung Fu cannot miss. Can't miss Kung Fu. Pastor? Uh oh. So, am I meant to read anything into you not accepting my invitation? What happened? I went to fucking Kung Fu! <laughs> How do you not understand this? Okay, everyone. Well, I have the weekend to make up for all of that nonsense. Twice as much time as normal to enjoy myself and relax. And we're gonna end it here. Who's on the phone? Who's on the phone? Find out next time on... Excuse me. Let's get on with it. Kudos!